Look, 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 TBI, I, I feel like I'm stagnating a bit in this interview. Devlin, I don't do these interviews, period. You're the only ones, but, but make the best of your time. I'm getting tired. Okay, I'm going to name an actor, and uh -huh. you, you just tell me, more off the top of your head, your, your three favorite movies by that actor. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Let's start with um, Michael Douglas. Woo! Michael Douglas. Wow. Uh, I'd say uh, definitely his role as Gordon Gecko. Wall Street. Top three. Falling Down. His role in Falling Down. I like that. I like that a lot. So that's two. I got to come up with one more. Woo! That's tough. Uh, you know what? Kind of bubblegum. But he was good in American President. Probably not number three, but right now it is. So move on. Next question. Yes, he is quite presidential. Speaking of presidential, a man who commandeers the screen every time he appears on its silver lining, none other than one of your good friends, Robert Duvall. Ah, Bobby. Yeah. You know what? Coincidentally, he was in Falling Down with Michael Douglas. You people get that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'd say Lonesome Dove. Definitely Lonesome Dove. Number one. Number two. Great Santini. Maybe as number three. Just for good measure. Even though it's a quote unquote cameo. Apocalypse Now. Oh. What is those famous lines that he uttered? Char Char Charlie don't suck. Deathly. Have you not seen the film? I, really, the most famous words are, I love the smell of napalm oh, yes, in the morning. Yes, yes. And, you, and you really do love the smell of napalm in the morning. In fact, I, I think I overheard him uh, with another, another friend whose name I, I, I cannot mention due to confidentiality that you and him were talking about that line over a cocktail called Napalm in the Morning. Devlin! I don't want to talk about that right now, but we'll get into that later. You Nick, wasn't that the night that you, him, and Belushi, and Robin Williams, and De Niro were all getting together? Devlin, we got together lots of times, but you got off the subject. I'm now, you got a few more questions. Let's not skirt the issue, Devlin. Come on! My apologies once again. Um, Robert De Niro, speaking of. De Niro, we can sit here and talk all night about it. But we won't, because I'm tired. Uh, top three, De Niro, number one, what? This is tough, Devlin. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. And so is De Niro. Of course he is. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, TBI. Just wanted to focus in on you. Typical nonsense. Uh, Raging Bull, possibly. Good, that's a good one, Devlin. Yeah, top three. Dear, I have to say, Once Upon a Time in America. People forget about that one. Tremendous. That, I think that's a story that's quite that, that strikes a chord in your own heart. Many parallels and similarities. Ah, uh, can't say that, but but uh, it's tremendous. Tremendous oh. acting. Okay, give me two more. Two more De Niro films? Please. Well, most might say Taxi Driver, and it was great. Don't get me wrong. Oh, man. 
You know what? I'd like to come back to that one. <laughs> I'm going to let you off the hook tonight, TBR. Well, I need to give her more thought. Well, I, if that one did not confound you. De Niro is in, one, in my top four or five favorite American actors. Can't, I can't just spew out them answers. Now, I need to think about them, Devlin. I, <laughs> I heard there was a controversy about that that reference he made in his movie Cape Fear about the famed counselor of yours back from Brookhaven. The real counselor. You mean the Nick Nolte character? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's a funny story because uh, I knew I knew the counselor that that character was based on. I tell you too, Nick Nolte nailed it. Fantastic character actor. Life, life altering performance. Screwed up personal life that Nolte. Well, good actor. Good, good actor. Moving along. One of your, again, another one of your close friends and 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 uh, contemporaries, Jack. Uh, none other than the Jack Nicholson. Hands down. Number one, no contest. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. My favorite Jack Nicholson film. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw you for a loop, Dublin. Number two, last detail. Last detail. I, I, I now, 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 what was the book that that was chronicled after? Who wrote that? You know what, Devlin? I don't think it was a book. Original screenplay? Far as I know, good movie, though. They ain't talking about books. They're talking about movies, Devlin. Come on. And 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 was, who was that that was in that movie with him? Was that Dennis Quaid? Devlin! Dennis Quaid? You kidding me, Devlin? It's Randy Quaid. Randy oh, Quaid. Of course, of course. Probably one of the most underrated comic and serious actors. I love Randy Quaid. And he's a great person. I visit with him now and again. I heard, I heard he, he throws a great um, festival down in San Antonio every year. A great barbecue and blues and brews festival. Randy Quaid? Yeah, I don't know. He hasn't invited me to that yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I haven't heard of that. And 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 coming back full circle, your third and final pick for the top three movie by Jack Nicholson. Woo! Uh, I have to say. You're putting me on the spot, Devlin. Number three. Oh, his role in Few Good Man was tremendous, but that can't be it because he was badly in that movie, right? How foretelling was that story, and how powerful was his role, and and how cunning <laughs> were those characters played by Tom Cruise and? None other than, was that Nicole Kidman? I think y'all thinking of Demi Moore! Not Nicole Kidman! Jeez, Demi! I'm sorry, Demi always had a place in your heart. Well, she had... She a beautiful woman, Demi. How can you not like that? She a beauty, damn man. She a beauty. Yes, and and one of the all-time greats, undisputable, yet quirky actor of our times, and whom you've been noted to have uh, a few public confrontations with, but someone I know you truly appreciate, Al Pacino. <laughs> Al Pacino 
Who's our number one Scarface guy? Just get that out of the way. Just, we won't even talk about it. It's cliche at this point. But it's damn good. Ah, you know what? I kind of like Injustice for All. You know that one, damn oh. Was that the one where he uttered those famous words that ring through generations? Attica, Attica, Attica. Damn, man! I don't know where your mind's at, but you know what? Since you mentioned it, that's Dog Day Afternoon. Damn, man. Which is great. It's great. You know what? Just for the sake of argument, that's my number three, Devin. <laughs> How quick you are. There you go. You answered everything to perfection. But if I were to uncover one breach. Yes, go on, but I want to cut this interview after this question. Of and your thought process was you never gave me number three for Robert De Niro. You're putting me to the test. And I like that, Devin. I like it. Number three, Robert De Niro film. I'm going to style in the audience. I'm going to say comic roll, Midnight Run with Charles Grodin. Oh. Now that's a funny movie. That had me laughing all oh more. All oh more. I could not stop laughing during that movie. And that's good, wholesome family fun. No obscenities, no profanities, just good jokes. <laughs> Modeled after your own philosophies. Well, I can't take credit for that. But I did give Bobby, or uh, Robert, some, <laughs> some, some tips. And, and Charles Grove. He made that movie. Yes. All right, let's wrap this up. You want you want to know anything else, Devin? No, no. I, I I just thought you know that that would be a fun game for you and I to play. And I have been enlightened after all these years. I thought I knew so much, yet I have found, as I have profoundly found time and time again, humbly I know so little. Devlin, don't ask me. Don't underestimate yourself. You're a fine, fine gentleman, and I'm happy, happy to be here with you and answer these questions. And I, I, I hope the people enjoy what we're doing here because it, it's all about art and preserving film and that which is truly a great escape. Yes, as as we ourselves have just um, um, philandered in and for that I am ever so grateful. It brings a, a small tear to my eye and a pitter patter to my heart. Thank you. From the Actors Guild studio, this has been an evening with none other than Tampa Bay Ray. Yours truly, Devin Williams. Until next time, we bid you adieu.